The City of Port Isabel teaming up with the General Land Office and Parks and Wildlife to help get old, inoperable, broken down boats off the streets. Yeah, and starting tomorrow, they're holding a vessel turn-in program. Channel 5's Stephanie Rosales has the details. We're told this is the first vessel turn-in program to come to the valley, built as a free opportunity to remove inoperable, derelict vessels focusing mainly in the Laguna Madre area. Maybe their motors aren't running for whatever reason. Um, they go into a state that they can no longer be repaired and unfortunately end up in somebody's either backyard or sometimes in the water docked off to somebody else's dock. John Sandoval, the poor Isabel assistant to city manager, says that can create problems both aesthetically and in terms of health. He says boats like these left in people's backyards can become overrun with rodents. And that's just part of the problem. If we have these vessels um, in the water and they start taking on water, a lot of times they'll still be full of either fuel, diesel, oil, and that's stuff we don't want in the waterways, obviously. The General Land Office has already done this in other coastal areas, taking in close to 900 vessels from around the state. And they're hoping more people take advantage. We're looking forward to this. Uh, there's numerous vessels here in this Port Isabel and surrounding area that are abandoned. Olivera says this cleanup is also saving the state over seven million dollars. That's taxpayer money that you know Texas General Land Office has to use to go and pull them out of there. Uh, it's an abandoned vessel. Um, so in the long run this actually saves taxpayers a lot of money. Sandoval says if it is a good turnout they will consider doing it again in the future and working to open it up to other cities. Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6. The drop-off location is 50482 Industrial Drive in Port Isabel. You can drop off vessels anytime between 9 in the morning and 6 at night tomorrow through Saturday.